want to welcome former congressman and CBC contributor Barney Frank, never one to hold back. Barney, we're going to be coming to you in one second. And then Congressman right. Lance Gooden is right here on the set, Republican of the 5th District of Texas. Uh, thank you both for joining us. Um, congressman, let me ask you this. I'm assuming you don't want a wealth tax, but, but let me ask you a, 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 maybe a broader question, which is, do you think that, because I think this is like a level set question, do you think that the government needs more revenue? I never hear Democrats talk about cutting waste in government. Right. All the things I heard but, last but night. No, speak, no, the government doesn't need more revenue. Absolutely okay. not. So if you believe the government doesn't need more revenue, then you clearly don't think there should be higher taxes. In fact, you'd argue for lower taxes across the board always. Yes, but that's not the reason I don't think we need higher taxes. The reason we don't need higher taxes is because what you're seeing Democrats talk about are taxes on the American dream. We should be encouraging people to make money. President Trump, Republicans, they want everyone to be a billionaire if they can make it work. We want everyone to make a lot of money. What these plans do is discourage wealth. And that's not something that Republicans are for. I don't think that that's what Americans want. Every American wants to go out and be able to make it big. And this, these plans you're hearing about discourage that. Okay, well, let me, let me ask uh, uh, Barney. I, I know a number of Republicans who do think we need more revenue. How we get more revenue, I think, is always a, a big question. You hear this plan. You hear uh, what the congressman just had to say. Do you, do you believe that this is taxing the American dream? And, and effectively, will it actually, to, to some degree, hurt employment at, at any level? Well, on the uh, wealth tax, no. Uh, I just disagree that that will have a disincentive effect. In other words, you're talking to someone who has uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, and uh, he right. learns that if he makes another hundred billion or another hundred million, two million more will go in taxes. I don't think anybody will say, oh, that other 98 million isn't going to be worth it. Uh, there is just no evidence empirically and no logic to saying that the wealth tax would disincent people from trying to be wealthier. I don't think that uh, CEOs at uh, financial institutions would say, oh, yeah, I better not get a raise because 2% of that will have to go uh, uh, to, to the government. Um, as to the uh, employment effect, and therefore I, I think at the, at the wealth tax, there's going to be some issues of how you appraise that. On the other hand, you know, we do, most cities are funded, most localities are funded entirely on a property tax, which requires that same degree of somebody assessing right. something that hasn't got a fixed price. Uh, as to Social Security, I, I will go back to Joe and my favorite comedian. I think, Joe, we share this appreciation for Penny Youngman. Penny. Compared to what? Yes, Social Security at the current level will need more revenue. And if you don't agree with increasing the tax paid by the people who are now making hundreds of thousands and, and more, then what's your alternative? The alternative I hear from some on the conservative side is, well, we'll cut benefits. But I disagree with that. What we're hearing here, though, is that millionaire that makes an extra $100 million, that would be taxed at regular income taxes. What we're hearing from Democrats is a wealth tax. So that means just having yes, the money, because, because you're going to get taxed every year is, on it. And let me ask you separately, though. The issue is that... Currently, the government does not capture, if you will, and, and, I, and maybe capture is the wrong word because that's going to you, you can use that against this, uh, this, this argument. Par it's never taxed. Yeah. Par for the course. It's, never, it's taxed. never taxed. It's never taxed. And so you have you have some Americans who are who are working their tail off, right? Mm -hmm. Who are paying taxes, and you have other uh, Americans that, frankly, in some cases, aren't working at all because they're benefiting from the capital gains, right? And they're not paying. They're not paying for the same services as everybody else. And by the way, that's the argument. W wealth and money goes to where it is least taxed. So right now you have the the amount of wealth relative to income in this country. One is taxed. One is not. Is at its highest level since the early 1900s. And that's Can because, I to Andrew's point, it doesn't get taxed. So so you know, and two percent above 50 million, you know, you could argue, as Jim Cramer said yesterday. Those people do great. They can probably afford it. What well, wealth does, you, does you're get not, taxed, though? Capital gains get taxed. Say, dividends get taxed. Are those, are those not taxes? Right. Are they, jump in. Can I, jump in, this also, this also was something of an offset to the substantially high income weighted tax cuts of uh, two years ago. So if you look at where we were when Donald Trump took office, uh, you got to offset any increase that would come here. These are people who, on the whole, we never got hear that about decrease. offsets and expenditures, and, and, and that's well, what that's the American people life. want. That no, is a, no one that, in America thinks we spend spend too little money in our government. Across oh, a the lot country, of people do. No, first across of all, the country, 
they think I, that waste people, in Washington is running rampant. Well, let me start with this. Military, you say you don't hear liberals talk about cutting waste. I've been cutting, and a lot of others of us have been for cutting what we think is excessive military spending. And let me say here, I don't think Donald Trump is You're talking about following. essential services. Essential services are something that we all support. No, I'm talking about the military. the military. But what Americans look, want is to be able to make money and be rewarded for their success. Don, what no, these they plans also would do like, is discourage that. You have a very narrow view of what Americans want. They want good roads. They want to be able to get to work on time. They want Essential clean services. air. I'm sorry, Absolutely. please. I listen. It's my turn now. What Americans don't want, no, though, I'm sorry, is you're to pay for here. illegal immigrant health care. Those are things that all of these Democratic candidates are talking about. That's something that Americans okay. are fed up with. Yeah, Barney, I'm going to help you just I, for one second. Congressman, I just want to make one quick comment. Sure. Just, just, just hear me out, okay? Even if you decided that our budget, if, you, if we could reduce our budget magically by 20 percent overnight, OK, mm -hmm. the tax revenue we get today still wouldn't pay for itself. OK, we are not we, they, you wouldn't have about you still wouldn't well, have a balanced me, budget. There's Therefore, never, you need to raise more revenue, my friend. We don't have to punish the earners in this country at any level, whatever those are. There is so much waste in this budget. Can Chairman I ask you Frank a question, remembers sir? From when he was there. There's so much waste in I'm our being federal budget busted and here. no one's ever talking about it. And I didn't have a long intro like yourself. I apologize. All right. Now, let me just say this. First of all, I have been talking about waste in a number of areas. We're getting some waste now, by the way, because Donald Trump is asking Congress to put tens of billions of dollars in additional farm aid to offset the damage that's being caused by his mishandling of the China policy. But beyond that, on terms of there being waste, the last two budgets, the Republicans controlled the presidency, the House and the Senate for two years. If there's too much money in there, you guys put it there. You, these are your budgets. In fact, I believe the president is not following up on his own instincts. He says we're spending too much defending Europe and other allies. I agree with him. I've been saying that for years. The problem is that instead of telling them, look, if you don't start putting this up, we're withdrawing that money, he continues to lavish the money on them. So they have no incentive to do that. So, uh, yeah, many of us do feel there's waste that could be cut. But I also believe when you say, oh, the American people just want to be able to earn they want schools, they want transportation, they want health care, they want the enforcement of, of a whole range of things. They want drug research, they want health research. And uh, as we just said, we are not now sustaining the revenue. By the way, I've never been a, in a panic about the debt, but anybody who believes we have got a debt problem... No can't one in Washington ever seems to be in a panic about the debt. Well, then let's discard that, although I think some of the Republicans used to say that they were, there's been a conversion. But again, I would ask you, if there's too much money and too much waste, why in the years when we had a Republican president, a Republican House and a Republican Senate, didn't you guys reduce that waste? I'll tell you, Chairman, the swamp is as swampy as it was when you left it. Uh, I've been in office for only eight months, and that is something that I'm finding. So my your Republican, fellow Republicans my are useless. Fellow Republicans are very uh, distraught about this. That's why we overwhelmingly. Well, wait, you ran this the you ran budget, the government. Your fellow bill. Republicans ran but the you government how, for you know two how years. The Senate works. You've got to have 60 votes to get anything passed. It's not really a majority that allows you to have a majority. But I'll I'll give you that Republicans and Democrats both have been guilty of it, raising. Barney, Donald Barney, Trump could have vetoed it. The Barney, president you, could veto Barney, parts of the budget. In the first two years of Obama, you could have done gun control and immigration reform. But you and didn't. I wish we had. In the first week since we've been back from recess, we haven't even talked about gun control. Democrats yeah. were saying all summer, let's get back to Washington. We've been um, in office for a week now from the recess. They've done nothing. So where's all the action after all this talk?